Good morning. How are you doing today, Kai? I'm good in yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. Well, thank you for taking the time. I have to congratulate you. What a wonderful performance. Powerful film. And from what I understand, my friend, you uh, you did not even audition for this role of Nicholas. It took quite a while. Tell us the story <laughs> for you to get this role. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it was a, it was an interesting journey. We um, I started for reading for Nicholas, and then I got seen for a couple of different roles for it. And I think I auditioned eleven times and did five chemistry reads for a year wow. and a half process. And um, but uh, you know, as Oliver says, it was important to find Nicholas, but then it was equally important to find the chemistry um, between all the different characters. And, and getting that chemistry right took some time. So I'm really appreciative that um, they did take the time to find Oliver. Yeah, and then once you, you know, you get into this role, um, you mentioned the chemistry between the guys. I was going to ask you that, but what was it like? Because yes, there has to be that camaraderie. There's a lot going on with these characters. Tell me about the prep and how you guys work together to establish that. Well, I mean, I worked with Oliver two to three times a week for three months prior to shooting. And then we had a process of actually going on a military boot camp run by a military advisor from that time. Wow. in which we all um, slept in the same area and did drills and, and learned the marching and the exercise routines and ate bully beef, we call it here, which is kind of like canned beef. Um, and then we had a, a week and a half or two weeks of rehearsal prior to shooting. So we were really privileged to kind of have the time and the preparation to get into these roles and this um, period. How did this um, hit you personally? I understand that your dad was in, was in the army, wasn't he? You know, it was a very interesting project for me to take on because my father had served in the army and it's not something that we had particularly uh, spoken about prior to me getting the film. Um, yeah. And it, you know, it's interesting to always kind of examine your heritage because being a young, um, almost born free South African, um, the apartheid regime is something that we're working so hard to get away from. Um, but it was important for me to kind of look back and it gave me a real insight into my father and his generation, which I'm, I'm, I'm really privi um, privileged to have had the time to explore. You know, it, it's, it's a tough film in many respects, and I'm sure it was shooting it because it not only deals with the time period in South African history that, you know, just blows my mind still, um, but also the gay, you know, being gay, being in the military, it, it covers a lot here. What really ultimately scared you the most before taking this on? I think being able to tell it um, truthfully and as impactfully as I could. You know, that we, I, I spoke earlier on in an interview where someone asked me, you know, what did it feel like to get the role? And I think every actor kind of has this moment where it's like, yes, I got the role. And then, oh my gosh, how am I going to pull this off? Um, and so that 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 for me was kind of the the big thing is is my ability to convey the story and kind of yeah you know it's interesting because like you said it talks about politics it talks about gender yeah. it talks about masculinity it talks about racism but ultimately it's a it's a human story and I think that's what makes it impactful and so I really had to kind of like underpin what this character went through and really empathize and, and get into his shoes. Not a lot of people here in North America, I, I'm, I'm actually talking to you from Toronto, Canada, know what Moffy means. And when I looked that up, it made me sick to my stomach. Can you let us know what it, what it is? It's a derogatory term for gay men um, that has been used to shame and diminish the gay community for many years. And unfortunately is still used today in South Africa. But I, you know, people always talk about Moffy, but I don't think homophobia is exclusively South African. I think that's a worldwide pandemic that we deal with um, day to day. And uh, the persecution of the queer community is still prevalent today, um, and sadly, almost as much as it was back then. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, Kai, I'm wondering, you know, after you finish making a film like this, um, it has to hit you on a personal level. I, I just wondered, you know, how it changed you and what you learned from working on this and playing this extraordinary young character. Yeah, as I said before, it was, it was a real privilege to be able to um, interrogate my heritage and kind of the demons that one carries from that time. Um, and, but most importantly, I think it gave me 
an insight into my dad and an insight into that generation and more of an understanding because I believe that only through understanding can we truly move forward. Yeah. What are we going to see from you next? I know it's been pandemic, but you know, I, I'm, yeah. sure you're, I'm sure you're getting some scripts thrown at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just finished shooting a, a local eight part series. Um, um, and then I have another film after this. And then I'm actually moving to uh, London, to the UK to pursue um, future projects. Oh, so hopefully, you. fingers crossed, um, good things will come my way. I'm sure good things will come your way. Well, like I said, you are extraordinary in this film. It's a pleasure to be able to talk to you now because you're going to be a huge star. So just remember me. <laughs> remember the name Bonnie because I will be asking you for more interviews in the future. Okay? Thank you so much. You're making me blush. <laughs> oh, please. You're extraordinary. Again. Thank you so much for your time today and Thank have a wonderful weekend. Too. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.